The journey matters as much as the destination. Well-intentioned people like to remind those of us who are driven souls about this advice, but I never bought it. I'm a destination person by nature. In business and family life, I like to know where I'm going and how I'm going to get there. The rest is just scenery, right? <laughs> Sound familiar? Is this you or someone you know? I have reached a lot of destinations that I have set my sights on, and perhaps the biggest and most rewarding one was uh, what David mentioned a few minutes ago about having the privilege of building a company from scratch and selling it to a global organization. And we've reaped many rewards from that, that's for sure. So don't get me wrong, entrepreneurship has been the ride of my life, but it almost cost me far more. There was a time when all I thought about was winning at work until an interesting thing happened to me a few years ago. I stopped sleeping. Now, I didn't have any trouble going to bed at night, as my husband will tell you, about midnight every night. I, he'd be talking to me and he'd look over and boom, you know, I was out. <laughs> Mid-sentence, I was asleep. So I didn't have any trouble going to sleep. But about 2.30 or 3 every morning, I was wide awake, never to go back to sleep. This went on for about three months. And, you know, I was dealing with all the concerns at work for sure, but there was one question that was burning in the back of my brain and it would never go away. And it was, is this all there is? Now, that's a frightening thing to face if you are a destination person, because I knew I had drive and determination, but I had always honestly defined myself by my achievements. And if the destination was not worth reaching, what was I striving for? And I did find one answer that turned me around, and it's this. It isn't that the destination is not worth pursuing. But in my pursuit of the destination, I had missed the journey along the way. But maybe, just maybe, if I could make the journey matter more, I could reclaim my life and find deeper purpose and meaning in my work. So how do we make the journey matter? And does that actually help us find greater purpose in our work? Well, absolutely, I think it does. And there are so many things that you could do. And I want to take just a few minutes this morning to look at the two probably biggest, most important areas of your life, your work life and your personal life, and share a couple of tips that have worked for me and helped me find a way to make the journey matter. You know, I remember as a young professional, I aspired to be a leader someday. But when I looked around and I saw all the different types of leaders that were in the news or that were being glamorized by the media for sure, um, I was confused because I thought that to be successful, you had to be tough and not show any emotion or care about other people. And you had to be willing to step on anybody to get where you wanted to go. And for sure, you had to know all the answers or at least pretend like you did. And the problem was, I wasn't like this at all. So I began to wonder, you know, how can I be successful as a leader just being myself? And I wonder if you have thought about that too. Have you ever wondered that being you wasn't enough? Because I think too many times we, we try to fulfill other people's expectations for us or we try to become the leader that they want us to be. But only when we are truly ourselves do we have the opportunity to lead at our best. 